MRSA screening. This video will show you what happens when we take MRSA swabs. Morning, is it Mr Campbell? It is, yes. Hello, my name's Susan. Um, the staff nurse has asked me to come in this morning and do your MRSA screening for you. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Lovely, thank you. Right, what it involves is me taking some swabs from your nose. It's just one swab that will go inside each nostril. It's not painful. You might feel a bit of discomfort, that's all. Other than that, it'll just mean taking a swab of your groin, which is down below in the top part of your leg. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Before we take the swabs from RSA screening, we need to make sure that the personal details carried by the patient match those held by the hospital. The nurse will write these details down on the form and swabs before any samples are taken. The staff member taking the swabs will clean their hands with gel. This will reduce the risk of cross-contamination and give assurance that infection control measures are being observed. Carefully remove the swab from its packaging without letting the swab come into contact with any other surface. The transport container will be placed into a receiver until your sample has been taken. All swabs will be moistened with sterile water before samples are taken. The nurse will then explain to you what is about to happen and answer any further questions about the process you may have. When ready, a sample will be taken. And then just inside the other nostril as well. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. When the samples have been taken, they will be placed in specimen transportation bag, along with the completed form, ready to be sent to pathology for testing. Well, I'll just go through this leaflet with you. With the Please read the information leaflet about MRSA screening carefully. This is quite brief. It just explains about the MRSA screening and what it's all about and the reasons why we're taking the swabs. 